In this video, we'll see how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam with central moment and point loads. Now the arrangement of the beam is as shown over here. So first we'll have to draw the free body diagram. So for that we'll have to resolve this 260 Newton force which is acting at an angle of 45 degree with the horizontal into two components, two rectangular components. So it will have two rectangular components. One is acting towards left of 20, 0.26 cos 45 kilonewton. So we have converted this 260 Newton into 0.26 kilonewton and another component of 0.26 sin 45 kilonewton. So as this particular force of 260 Newton is nothing but 0.26 kilonewton, it is in the third quadrant. It will have the x component which is also along the negative x direction and y component which is also along the negative y direction. Now remember that all the distances and the force we have converted. So force we have converted into kilonewton and distances we have converted into meter. Now as you can see the line of action of this particular force that is 0 0.26 sin 45 it passes through C so it will not produce any moment about point C. But this horizontal force of 0 0.26 cos 45 kilonewton it will produce anti-clockwise moment about point C because the perpendicular distance is 80 mm or 0 0.08 meter. So we can say that as you can see this particular force is producing so moment is nothing but force multiplied by perpendicular distance so force is 0.26 cos 45 distance is 80 mm that is 0 0.08 meter so and this arrow is going in the anti-clockwise direction towards point C so we can say that by using this so 0 0.26 cos 45 multiplied by 80 mm that is nothing but 0 0.08 meter that comes out to be that value comes out to be 0 0.0147 kilonewton meter now using these values we can draw the free body diagram so it is simply supported at a and b now the vertical force of 0.26 sin 45 that is nothing but 0.1838 kilonewton then the horizontal force of 0.26 cos 45 that is also same and the anti-clockwise moment of 0.0147 kilonewton meter. So we have converted the given particular system into a moment and the force system equivalent force and moment system at point C. So this particular force of 260 Newton we have converted into two forces. One is acting in the vertical vertically downward another is acting towards negative x direction and a moment of 0.0147 kilonewton meter. Now we can find out the beam reactions over here. So as the given particular beam it is supported at A and B vertically we are interested only in the vertical direction. So summation of Fy is equal to 0 that is our first condition of equilibrium. The conventions that we have used are upward forces positive and downward forces they are negative. So Ra and Rb they are acting in the upward direction so they are positive. 0 0.1838 kilonewton that is acting in the downward direction so it is negative. So we can say that Ra plus Rb is equal to 0 0.1838 kilonewton and call this as equation 1. Now we'll use the another condition of equilibrium that is summation of moments is equal to 0 clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative. Now taking moments about point A so this Rb it will produce anti-clockwise moment about A and perpendicular distance between B and A is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1 that is 0 0.2 so minus Rb into 0 0.2 then this 0.1838 kilonewton force this will produce clockwise moment about A and perpendicular distance is 0 0.1 so as it is a clockwise moment it is positive so 0 0.1838 into 0 0.1 this particular force horizontal force it also passes it passes directly through point A it is not having any perpendicular distance so it will not produce any moment then there is already a moment of 0 0.0147 kilonewton meter but this is in the anti-clockwise direction and it is directly the moment but as it is in the anti-clockwise direction it is minus that we have considered over here so 
transfer this minus rb into point 0.2 term on the other side it will become positive and this particular term is nothing but 3.68 into 10 to minus 3 divide 3.68 into 10 to minus 3 by this point 0.2 so you will get the value of rb that is 0 0.0184 kiloloton now we can substitute this value of rb in equation 1 so this is our equation 1 so we can say that ra will be equal to 0.1838 plus rb is transferred on this side it will become minus rb so this 0.1654 kilo newton so 0.1838 minus rb rb is 0 0.0184 so if you subtract that value then you will get this particular value so ra is 0.1654 and rb is 0 0.0184 kiloton so using these values of ra and rb we can draw the shear force diagram the conventions which we have used for shear force diagram calculations are upward positive and downward negative so at point a there is a upward acting reaction ra and reaction ra is 0.1654 kiloton and as it is acting in the upward direction it is positive just at the left of point c there is no other vertical force that is acting so whatever the shear force is there at point a the same will remain just at the left of c without considering this downward acting force now exactly at point c we have to add this downward acting force of 0.1838 so as it is acting in the downward direction this is 0.1654 minus 0.1838 so it is minus 0 0.0184 kN from C up to just left of B without considering this RB it will be same because there is no other force that is acting between C and just left of B but exactly at point B there is an upward acting positive force of RB and RB is 0 0.0184 so minus 0 0.0184 plus 0 0.0184 that is equal to 0 kN Using these values, we can draw the shear force diagram. As you can see, we are having the various values. At A, it is 0.1654 kN. Just at the left of C, it is 0.1654 kN. Exactly at C, it is minus 0.0184 kN just at the left of point b it is minus 0 0.0184 kiloton and exactly at point b it is 0 kiloton so this is our shear force diagram now we have to draw the bending moment diagram the conventions which we have used for bending moment diagram calculations are clockwise positive and anti-clockwise negative at the end of simply supported beam moment is zero so bending moment at a is zero bending moment at b is also zero now bending moment at a is zero now we'll start with bending moment just at the left of C without considering this external moment of 0 0.0147 kN meter we are not considering this moment just at the left of C so we have to consider all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of C so on the left hand side of C there is only one force that is nothing but RA correct and this RA will produce so this is the force RA reaction RA it will produce clockwise moment about point C and the perpendicular distance between A and this C is nothing but 0.1 meter so there is only one force this force is already passing through point C so it will not have any moment about point C so RA is producing clockwise moment so it is positive so RA into point 0.1 value of RA is nothing but 0.1654 into point 0.1 so it is 0 0.0164 kN meter now exactly at point C there is an anti-clockwise moment of 0 0.0147 kN meter which is acting and as it is anti-clockwise it is negative so up to left of C we have already calculated that is 0 0.0164 kN meter to that we have to subtract this anti-clockwise moment of 0 0.0147 kN meter and that value comes out to be 0 0.00184 kN meter and bending moment at the end that is at point B is always 0 even if you calculate by taking into consideration all the forces which are acting on the left hand side of B you will get answer as 0 now using these values we have to draw the bending moment diagram so start from 0 at C left then exactly at C and at B So you can see at point A it is 0 or point B it is 0 
at just at the left top C it is 0 0.01654 and exactly at point C it is 0 0.00184 kilonewton meter so in this way we can draw shear force and bending moment diagram in case of simply supported beam having central moment and point loads at the center thank you very much for watching